up, you guys? Time is back with another Linsense video. Before I get into the fragrance, hey, if you guys like this t-shirt, man, I've kind of sported this on Facebook, um, Instagram, Twitter. Um, man, let me know. Let me know what you guys think of this t-shirt. Again, the sister-in-law made this t-shirt for me, gave her an idea, and she took it and rocked the thing out. Look at that. We got the Linsense logo right here. We got the American flag with different... <laughs> Arabian fragrances uh, that I have reviewed in the past, but nonetheless, that is an awesome ass t-shirt, and I hope you guys enjoy that one. Uh, but anyways, again, thank you guys for the support, man. We are definitely getting closer to 1,300, and once we get to 1,300, we'll have another giveaway, uh, but uh, just be on the lookout for that, and please like the video, subscribe, comment, share, do as you wish. Even if you got to give me a couple of uh, dislikes, it doesn't matter. Just show that you are watching, okay? But anyways, um, last video I did with the wifey, I uh, showed you guys a few fragrances that I have that are yet to be opened. And a couple of you guys chimed in and said, hey, I want to see a review on that tobacco myth. And today, that is exactly what we are going to do. We got that tobacco myth right here, part of that confidential lineup, the fragrance world lineup fragrance world confidential they have two others in the lineup they have a uh, patchouli night and a rose flame or flame rose if you will so those two are clones of versace eros flame and then the other one is a clone of herrera's patchouli nightfall okay so i've never smelt patchouli nightfall i have smelt rose flame so eventually i'll end up getting that one and see if it is very similar to that this tobacco myth however is a clone or supposed clone of tobacco vanille you guys already know tom Ford. that is like one of their main star attractions that tobacco vanille now smelt it a long time ago at nordstrom I do remember it being a super masculine and enjoyable fragrance again, but you know, it was not a fragrance that is gonna be meant for everybody. That is for grown ass men. Attractive, grown ass, sexy men. You trying to go out and be sexy, that is the one you're gonna wear. That's not for little boys, that's not child's play, okay? That is for grown ass men. So here we go, tobacco myth. Um, ugly box, you know, um, honestly, I hate these kind of gold, this kind of looks like that old Cadillac that Granny drives, that, that old color that I don't like. Um, tan or whatever this is, maybe it's khaki. This should be the official color of old people because, man, whenever you see old people, they can rock out the coolest looking Cadillac Escalade and it's always going to be this color still, that damn fucking khaki gold, whatever the hell it is, man. This should be the official color of the elderly. But here we go on the inside there. It is... There's no kind of cushions in there to keep that bottle from dancing all around. Look at that. There you go. So um, hopefully no, the UPS man doesn't chuck this around like uh, they did on Ace Ventura. So luckily mine did not break during the shipping process. But honestly, I'm not a fan of this bottle either. Okay. Um, I do like the roundness in the bottle it's very similar to like a verse uh dior sauvage if you will um i do have that one the roundness i do love the round bottles however where this one looks kind of nice you know looks like a man Sarah bottle this one looks very nice that to sweet tobacco 1821 this one kind of just looks like that one that should be in that that wannabe dollar tree store that you see in some malls they're just called random dollar things so it'd be like dollar bazaar store uh, uh dollar food stamp uh dollar uh negative dollar whatever looks like one of those bottles that should be probably one of those stores now the bottle itself does feel heavy it does have a nice weight to it and actually the cap has a decent weight to it this is not no flimsy cap like if you chuck this Hard enough at someone's head, you can probably do some damage. But overall, it's a decent bottle. You know, I'm not really the biggest fan of it. Probably maybe because of the color, that gold, and then this kind of just looks so basic. Um, let's see if it is a sticker, and indeed it is a sticker. So um, don't peel that, or else you will not be able to tell which this is because there is no other name on it. So if you peel that off, 
you will just have to remember that you had this bottle and it was a tobacco myth. But anyways, we got these indents as well in the bottle, which is pretty cool. But overall, you would think this is wood, but actually it's like some kind of plastic. It's probably like some kind of sticker on there, but no, that is not wood. So here we go. Now, this one has some citrus. It has some fruity notes. We got some ginger. We got some Davana oil. We have woody, vetiver, patchouli. And at the base, we got some tobacco, we got some tonka bean and whatnot. Okay, so the dog is barking, he's going nuts. He just heard the uh, UPS man, the UPS man does have some deliveries for me. Hey, shh, there we go. Just all you gotta do is do that. That gets him to hush up a little bit, okay? So that's all we are waiting for was the UPS man. He dropped off some packages. Those should be mine. Another few boxes, another few fragrances that I have to unpack. See, that's the one cool thing about these videos, man. This is uncut. If I decide to walk up and, and stand up in the in the standing position and I'm so happy to be in my damn nutsack ass all out, you guys might see that. Now, YouTube will censor it, but you'll see it because this is uncut, okay? If you see me slap the dog around a little bit, I'll actually take that out because those animal people, they don't like that, so don't do that. Never hit a dog or a kid, okay? But here we go. That is not one of those pressure sensitive atomizers, so I'm a little disappointed on that. However, the amount of juice that was shot out was very nice. So here we go. Ooh. Okay. You do get a nice little blast of this spiciness. And on top of that, it does have kind of like that dry tobacco smell, that dry sweet. Okay, so that ginger and that slight bit of citrus, okay, the citrus kind of creeps in. The tobacco still is the main star. Now, what most people might smell in the air is a nice sweet tobacco. You might not really even smell that citrus in here or the fruity notes. But when you get close, that's when you start smelling that tobacco very nicely and those fruity notes and that ginger is very nice. Got some slight woodiness going on in here. That vetiver, that patchouli, kind of adding this nice earthiness to this fragrance. <clears throat> okay, so off initial spray okay and i'm assuming this is going to have a beautiful dry down like most tobacco fragrances do however with this fragrance is that once you get one tobacco fragrance especially like for instance say you got red man Sarah, okay or the generic one okay the the uh good value one right here okay or say you got this one okay you've pretty much are gonna get the same vibes as any other ones to be honest that's with this one okay not to say that tobacco for me is going to take you in a different direction maybe it will i don't know but the thing is they all kind of have that similar dry tobacco slightly sweet this one has a little bit of that citrus at the top so with that being said it's like do you need a red tobacco do you need tobacco vanille do you need do you need this this one right here do you need this tobacco myth and in my honest opinion i don't think so um if you got one of them no need to grab this one it gives me the same similar vibes yes i'm excited for it it smells great but because i already got one of these this will most likely be on the trading block because I feel like the other ones smell almost exactly the same. Now, where they're gonna differentiate is the dry down, which most fragrances do. But a lot of times with some of these tobacco fragrances, whereas Red Mancera's tobacco and this one, that vanilla is gonna kind of creep through, you're gonna get that nice smooth, creamy richness. This one says it has that tonka bean, so you're gonna get that sweetness. You're gonna get a little bit of more tobacco leaves in here. So this one might just smell very similar in the opening as it will later down on the line on the dry down which is not a bad thing however again it's 
you know, once you have one of these or a few of these, there's no need to continue buying new ones. And again, honestly, sometimes I like just buying these little blind buys right here, these little tobacco myths, these Arabian fragrance, I like grabbing them, just, just what the hell, just blind buy it. But I know some people, you know, might, it's not like they can just, just go buy stuff and just don't worry about it. Um, however, I'm, you know, a little bit fortunate enough where I can just buy one and, you know, if I don't like it, you know, I might even give this to someone. Uh, but it smells good. It was pretty loud when you first spray it. It is pretty loud. It is all in here, okay? But again, it's just too similar to everything else. Now, me personally, and I've not smelled all tobacco fragrances yet. When it comes to the tobacco being the main star, okay, um, the one that I actually like the most is this one so far, okay, this 1821. Because of that nice honey that gives you this, like, sweet, seductive tobacco smell. Now, yes, you can easily get, like, Spice Bomb, Spice Bomb Fresh. Spice Bomb Fresh is very nice, you guys. If you guys haven't smelled it, go out there and smell it. You definitely kind of get that spice uh, bomb vibe with a little bit of freshness in it, which is very nice. But overall, where tobacco is like considered the main guy on the team, okay? This is my favorite tobacco fragrance thus far that I've smelled, okay? Now, again, I haven't had the tobacco of I haven't, you know, had actually had that in my collection. I've smelled it. I haven't had other ones, okay? But maybe you guys can, you know, point me out to another tobacco style fragrance that kind of doesn't smell the same as some others okay maybe you guys put down in the comments below which one should i smell but so far this has been my favorite tobacco fragrance again most of these are going to be your cold weather fragrance okay winter fall um springtime especially at night when it starts cooling down you can probably rock any one of these but again for my money if you kind of want that dry sweet tobacco smell okay that's not overly sweet you, you don't want something that's like cloying and stuff like that if you just need one without trying to be too cheap and going out to get ck1 shock i would actually recommend this one you guys if you guys have not seen my video on this one go check it out 1821 this is a beast it's beautiful it's sexy it's seductive this is my favorite tobacco fragrance again this video is on this tobacco myth, and we'll smell it again. And again, the smell is beautiful. It's just not doing enough for me to get excited about, okay? So with that being said, I would only recommend this one if you are kind of getting into the tobacco game, okay? Maybe you already have CK1 Shock. Maybe you want to get up to the Red Man Sarah. Maybe you don't have that type of money just yet. Maybe you don't have the... I mean, this one is only like 50 bucks. So if you got the 50 bucks to splurge, just go out and grab this one to save yourself some time. You won't need to get anything else. But if you want to try this one, this one's about 40, 45 ish. You go on eBay, you guys submit your little best offer. You submit that in there, and uh, the guy actually will probably take whatever you give him. Okay. So with that being said, this is just a nice fragrance, nothing too special. Smells pretty much like this one to me, honest. Get the same similar vibes that woody tobacco, kind of slightly sweet. Uh, but other than that, hey, what can I say? I'm not really hyping this one up, okay? I don't want you know you guys to think I hype up every single fragrance. This one, again, just smells great. But if you already have some stuff like this, there's no need to pick this one up, okay? Hope you guys enjoyed, okay? Now, again, again, when, uh, one more thing. When I said don't go out there and get that, that's if you don't have stuff similar to this. I already have like three or four that are similar to this, so that's why this this purchase is kind of redundant for me, okay? You might only have like one or two tobacco fragrances, and you might want this one. Maybe you think it smells a little different. Maybe it doesn't. Who knows? But, again, with me personally, I would not recommend this one to someone who has a huge collection because most likely if you have a huge collection you probably got multiple tobacco fragrances so you probably don't need this one so with that being said this one just gets like a eh for me okay so i hope you guys enjoyed that video if you guys did hit the likes comment and subscribe now see you next time yeah